Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Day Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode. And this week, we're gonna take a look at something a little different. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, if you let me finish, I'll tell you. It's Gundam. It's what? It's Gundam. I heard that part. It's goddamn what? Gundam. Jeez, Gorilla, watch your language. This is bad even for you. Just tell me what the goddamn thing is we're looking at. Oh, for fuck's sake. Gundam. G-U-N-D-A-M. Well, what the hell is that? You're about to find out. Raz Holly, hit the music! <laughs> Gundam. It's big. Like, way bigger than you probably expected. We'd be here all day if I were to go into detail, so I'll try to keep this brief. Gundam is a Japanese media franchise created by Yoshiyuki Tomino way back in 1979 about a world in which the militaries use mobile suits or giant robots in battle. And like any massive franchise, it's basically got it all comic books, TV series, motion pictures, all sorts of merchandise. I've heard people describe it as Japan's Star Wars. Anyway, the most important piece of merch out of the mountains of it available has got to be the models. Let's not waste any more time and take a look at a specific kit. I think a good place to start is what's called the granddaddy of Gundam, the RX-78. So let's take a look. Okay, so here it is. We are looking at a high-grade RX-78-2 Gundam EF-SF prototype close combat mobile suit um, by Bandai. This is a, a model kit. Um, this is the most common grade. I'll, I'll explain the grades. When it comes to Gundam model kits, you have at the very low end the entry grade, and then the high grade above that. Above that, you have the master grade, and then there's the also can be the perfect grade, and <laughs> of course, the perfect grade unleashed as well as the real grade, which is like the master grade, but in the same scale as the high grade. Typically, the high grade goes in the 1 in 144 scale. The master grade goes in the 1 in 100 scale. All that means is that these are a little smaller, uh, master grade a little bigger most of the time most of the time so um <laughs> that's it's not all it's not 100 percent of the time it's most of the time um but as a general rule these are going to be the most common models that you're going to find you can find this model at target um you can find this at hobby lobby and uh, this is going to be one of the most common models out there and if you if i was going to give up give someone a model to start out with to introduce them to gundam you could give them an entry grade, and the entry grade's really great, but they take about 15 minutes to build, and um, honestly, you're not really going to get a good taste of what it's like to put one of these together and, and the, the results of what you're going to get. Now, this, uh, the, the high grade, um, it's going to take you a few hours um, as a beginner to put them together if you take your time. Um, yes, you can, you can cruise through them. You can, you can shoot through and do it as fast as you possibly fucking can. And, um, but what's the fun in that? They go from, you know, anywhere from 20 to, to $60, depending on the, the, this, this one, I believe I got it on sale for like under, under 15, I think. So not too shabby, has really great art on the box here. We can see the RX 78 mobile suit, um, just shooting across the, the scene here with its laser sword and all of its little bits and pieces and panels and things like that and you're going to get a pretty good idea of what the thing looks like as we turn the box around on the underside here um we can see an actual one of the, one of the actual models what it's going to look like when you're done with it now of course this has been painted professionally um this one here 
So it's not gonna look exactly like that. You can paint it, but it's completely optional because all of the pieces are molded in the colors that they need to be. So it's gonna look, you know, it's gonna look close to this. Um, see with all the weapons and everything it comes with. And one of the things that I really like about the packaging that I wanted to note on was that instead of doing a whole wrap in, in cellophane, they do two belts. They do a horizontal and a vertical belt across the box. It keeps the box closed, it keeps the box sealed um, without, with using less material um, and, and can lower the cost. They can you know, put that into other things, they can pass it along to you. Um, it's just sort of better for everybody all together. And you can reuse this. You can put these right back on if you really fucking felt like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what it comes with inside. So after sliding off the, the, the lid here, we can see we've got inside, um, it's crinkly plastic, so I'll try to be careful here. We have the runners, um, which are all the pieces that make up the model kit, um, sort of on the on these trees, these sprue trees, um, as you know, I would have typically called them. Um, in the, the community or whatever, they're referred to as runners. Uh, and you have all your pieces. Uh, you can you can uh, wiggle these off with your fingers, or you can uh, snip them off with a little pair of, uh, of flush cutters or nippers. Um, there's uh, many different kinds available, but just a typical um, you know five to ten dollar pair um, will get the job done. Um, and for a beginner, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend buying anything more than that because you don't know um, what kind of investment you wanted to make. Um, so, uh, so this is sort of all the pieces you have in here. Um, they're all labeled um, with different letters, A through uh, D or F. Um, and then also, besides that, all the pieces we have inside, we have the manual as well. Um, so the, uh, in the manual, uh, right here on the cover, it looks like a little magazine, but that's actually a fold out. It says RX-78-2 Gundam EFSF Prototype Close Combat Mobile Suit. Basically the same shit that it does in the box. We have our, um, you know, fantasy stats for it. Uh, the height is 18 meters, weight 43.4 tons, total weight 60 tons. Um, what? Um, anyway, maybe that's with the weapons and everything. Uh, the, 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 kilowatt, the kilowatt generator output, um, thruster propulsion, um, the materials, uh, the, the armaments, so on and so forth. Um, pretty cool, but you get a good look at, at what your, your model's gonna look like. And if you've never built one of these before, it's, you know, it's good kind of to reference. Uh, do you know, like, oh, okay, well, you know, the, the chest is going to go this way. Um, so you kind of get an idea of what you're building as you're building it. But even if you don't, you can look on here, you can see some cool poses and stuff like that. And it kind of starts you in the middle for some reason. Um, <laughs> you fold the whole thing out and uh, you have uh, directions on how to build the figure. Um, a lot of Japanese in here, a little bit of English, but the truth of the matter is, is that you don't need to speak a, a lick of any language to, in order to build one of these things. You might have to understand numbers, and <laughs> you do have to understand um, these pictographs. They have pictures of the of the steps in order to, to, to build all the different pieces, and then putting those pieces together to create your model. Um, there's also, uh, I believe there's some stickers and stuff in here on this one. Um, and uh, yeah, this is what it comes with. And you can see right here, here's, here's the parts list. You have your A, B, C, uh, S, B, and P, C uh, sets of runners it is what it comes with. And there's also on the inside of uh, one of these bags, you can see um, it comes with a, uh, a set of foil stickers um, and just just a few stickers on this one. Some of them come with so many stickers that it's insane. Um, but this one, very few. This is uh, very uh, sticker easy on you. Um, so yeah, and, and so just by looking at the runners and going over that, you can really tell um, what we're getting at. After following all the directions, cutting out the pieces, putting them together, applying the decals and all that good stuff, you end up with uh, with this. Um, here it is. I've already finished one. Um, this is uh, this is one that I've made before. 
Uh, this is the R. This is the same model uh, from the same kind of kit, the RX 782 Gundam, um, with all of his little accessories and weapons with him. Um, let's uh, let's kind of move these down and away here. We can kind of see what he looks like. Um, these have really great, uh, great articulation. Um, all the, the you know the knees, the ankles, and everything like that move. All these little pieces, and by the end of, the, of you putting it together, you're really going to be familiar with everything and how it works. Um, it's got a shield that attaches to the arm right there. You attach the hand actually to the gun separately um, and put that on there. You can take the hand apart and put it back on, on the wrist, on the wrist joint right there. It pops right on. Um, this cannon here attaches to the back end um, and you can attach it, reattach it, have it sitting there, don't have it sitting there. It's up to you um, really how you want to uh, to set this up. You can also uh, have the shield on the back as well. Um, very, very cool, very customizable. Um, the the stickers uh, there's there's very few of them there's one right here on the on the sort of dick piece and there's uh you can choose to have the eye stickers um i just cho chose to use the, the pieces the plastic pieces uh to make the eyes um i just kind of liked it better it was my preference you get to choose um also you can use uh, markers to uh, come in and do the panel lines um, I kind of did a shitty job, but I don't care. It's my model. It's not like I'm selling it or something like that. Um, I'm not in a contest for fucking building Gundams or whatever. Um, and this was one of my um, earlier uh, forays back into the hobby. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. And that's at the end of the day, what these really are is that they're lots and lots of fun. And for as fun as building this model was, it was even more fun to build this one. This is the real grade RX-78. Um, as you can tell, a lot more stickers, a lot more details, um, a lot more going on on all the little pieces. Now you do have to be careful with these as you're as you're playing with them or posing them. If you actually don't really play with them, they are they're not really toys. They're models, um, but they are pretty sturdy for what they are. Um, for a bunch of little plastic pieces that I was, you know, that I cut out and put together, I do feel like they are pretty sturdy. Um, and you can make the comparisons between the two and the and the detail, the level of detail that is in the real grade um, is much higher, much, much higher. And uh, man, this thing took a, took a little bit longer to make, but once you're done with it, man, these things are fun. Um, very, very cool. Um, one of the things that really blows my mind on these, I'm going to bend the knee. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the, the, the panels moving, sliding back and forth on the leg. And as you put it back, um, very, very cool. Um, yeah, I can't get over how awesome these are. Uh, the, the little, the, the fingers and the hands are all articulated. You can move those around. Um, there's tiny little stickers that you put all over these things. They do take a lot of time and a lot of patience to put together, but they can be a very relaxing experience and a very enjoyable, honestly. The, the, the shield um, comes in a little bit of a darker color than our high grade there, as you can see. Um, this one comes with the, uh, this one also came with the laser swords and they're basically the same. Um, just some little plastic on there. The gun, a little bit different, a little bit more color on that. And the cannon, um, a little bit different as well. Um, so very, very cool stuff. This is kind of my introduction to these Gundam figures. I think they're very, very awesome. I think everybody should kind of give these a try, if at least if you're just sort of halfway interested in them. Um, I would go out and, uh, you know, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Target, go to whatever, and, uh, and go pick one of these up, or you can pick them up on Amazon. They're really available a lot of different places. Um, that, that you, you might have seen them already, and you might have just overlooked them, not thinking much about them, um, because you thought, uh, maybe that you needed uh, glue or, or paint or anything like that to make them look good. And as you can see, an, even an idiot like me can put these together and get something really, really nice to put up on a shelf. Um, and they're really not that much money. I, I believe even the real grade 
um, was only like 30 bucks um, where I picked it up. So not too shabby at all. Um, I, I'm definitely in. I'm back in to these things. I love building these. Um, if only I had more time, I'd have even more of them up on my shelf right now. For now, I've got a few, but I, I really, really enjoy this, this hobby. It's very, very cool. Um, and I recommend it to anybody to give it a try. Well, that was a look at Gundam models. Tell us what you think of these in the comments down below. So there's a cartoon? Yeah, but I don't really care about the cartoon. What a surprise. Anyway, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music!